Let's Nightfall, episode 38, and this week's Nightfall is the Sunless Cell. It's a really easy solo this week, so if you are under light, definitely get in here. For this first portion, I would normally tell you guys to run on by, but since Arc Burn is on, spend some time to clear out these enemies. We can go over the modifiers real quick. So Arc Burn is on, then you have Berserk, Brawler, Airborne, and Daybreak. With Daybreak on, guys, you're going to be using your super non-stop in this strike. So for the first area, you have these Acolytes that will do arc damage, so you have to be very careful about that. After you take out the Acolytes, you're going to have a gazillion Thrall that spawn. As far as setups go, Titans, Warlocks, Hunters, rock those arc subclasses. Though for the Shrieker Hallway Room, we'll be switching Warlocks to Self-Res and Titans to Bubble. With, but with Daybreak, your super charges so quickly that switching back and forth isn't a huge deal. So now this next area as well, you want to take out these Acolytes before making your way up the left or right side. You don't necessarily have to take out the Wizards as they're going to be doing solar damage. So you don't have to worry about these Wizards as much. As you see, I'm just trying to take out the Acolytes that are on that left hand in. Now you will have some Shadow Thrall that are spawning and running up on you from these Wizards. I'm going to use my Super to take out these Wizards. So Titans, you could come up here and Titan Smash. Hunters, you could use your Blade Dancer. But Hunters, I would suggest just going invis with your Blade Dancer and running past all of this crap and not even wasting your time. You're going to have some Acolytes on top of the bridge here. So just be aware of where the Acolytes are in this room. Now we're going to move on. Now there's going to be a Wizard near the door and a Blight. There's going to be a Gazillion Thrall. And you're going to also have some Acolytes. You see him spawning over there in the far right hand corner. You're going to have a few of them spawn. The Acolytes are the dangerous enemy in this room. But Hunters, what you could do is you could use your Blade Dancer to go invis and run past all of this stuff. And then all you need to do, you don't have to kill any of the enemies, guys. All you have to do is just hang out by the door for a few seconds. So you will be invis right now, Blade Dancers. Just run your invis set setup, and you see how quick the doors open. So Hunters, feel free to just run past that first part. Just use your invis perks. So here we go. Now we're on to the next portion. Now, none of these ads are going to be doing arc damage, these acolytes or anything like that, so feel free to push up a little bit. You're going to have a little sword knight. Again, guys, spam those nades, spam that super. Titans, if you have access to the armatarium, rock that so you get double nades. Hunters, you could have double skip nades if you have access to those gauntlets. Warlocks, your super is really going to make quick work of all these enemies. You really have the best super this week just because you got that roaming super. So here we go. So we're taking out these ads. Now, the wizards, there's going to be two on the left, two on the right. Pick what side you want to do first. It doesn't matter which one you do. I'm just going to go left first because I was over in this area. But these wizards do do arc damage. So don't push over there. Take them out from deep. As you see, I'm just taking them out from as far away as possible. There's no point in putting yourself in any danger. So once you take out the two wizards, make your way over. We're going to have to scan that little object and take out the shrieker behind us. Now with each side that we're doing, there's going to be some adds that spawn and there's also going to be two wizards and there's going to be some boomers. Boomers and the wizards do do arc damage, so we have to be aware of that. So after you take out the shrieker, just wait until they get almost to the platform. Once they do, hop off the back and then just sprint. Sprint around in a circle and wait for them to explode. Once you hear them explode, then hop back up and get ready because a wizard is going to be more than likely right on top of you as you see it right there. You can always drop down. Take cover, recover, and hop back up. The wizards are going to chill where he's at right now. That's as far as they're going to push up. Maybe a little bit further, but they're not going to come like right on top of you. After you take out the first wizard, then the second wizard will mosey on over. Again, with these ads, guys, as you see the two boomers up top right there, I'm going to take them out from deep. I'm not going to push back over to the side until I take out those two boomers. Coolio, we got the two wizards down. We got the two boomers down. Those are the enemies that can do arc damage. Now feel free to push back over. You're going to have some acolytes. You're going to have a sword knight lingering. Again, use your super. Use your nades. I'm going to do a slight fast forward here, guys. You're not missing anything. Just took out the few adds, wasting the rest of my super. Now we're doing the exact same thing we just did, but on the opposite side of where you started. Take out the two wizards. Take them out from deep. Once you do so, then push over. Scan the object. Next, we are taking out the Shrieker. Once we take out the Shrieker, let the Shrieker balls reach to about the platform, hop off the back. As you see, the Wizards and the Boomers are spawning. We're hopping off the back, and we're just going to run around in a circle until we hear them explode. Around this time, the first Wizard will head on over in your general direction. So once you hop on up, locate that first Wizard. There she is right there. And as you see, guys, with Arc Burn on, you're going to absolutely melt if you have an Arc primary i didn't go over weapons but primary wise guys 
use an arc primary. So you see, my second wizard isn't coming over yet. She's just kind of in chill mode behind there. And you saw the boomers. The boomers headed down off the steps, so I won't be able to snipe them. That will happen with whatever your second side is. After you take out that first wizard, the boomers usually bail. But if you have an arc primary, guys, rock an arc primary. If you don't have one, it's not that big of a deal. Secondary, rock an arc sniper. And then for your heavy, rock an arc heavy. I would suggest rocking a arc rocket launcher over a machine gun, but that's totally up to you. If you don't have access to an arc primary, you could rock bolt caster as your exotic, the exotic sword, if you have access to it. That would do really well in the next room, especially with clearing out ads in very quick succession. So I'm gonna hop back over here to the middle, but I'm gonna bail back because those two boomers, they are down in this general area and you can kind of see them spamming shots. There they are right there. So you wanna be aware of them if you can't find them as I almost fall off the map <laughs> and save by, I don't know, these little outcroppings right there. You can fall all the way back here. They won't push up on you. They'll just kind of pause where they're at right now. So just be aware if those boomers hightail it down the steps and you can't find them, be careful coming back over. You'll have to clear out all the ads before being able to move on. Make sure to look around for ammo. There should be a decent amount of it being dropped. So now we are into the next area and a ton of the enemies are going to be doing arc damage in here. You're going to have acolytes. You're going to have scions. You're going to have the cabals. You're going to have the stupid little acolyte eyes. We're doing all of our damage from all the way back where I'm at right now. You don't even have to be in this room to be killing these enemies. They're going to all funnel to this front little area, and there's going to be multiple waves. For, so for this initial wave, you're going to have some acolytes. You saw the two knights that I took out. Here come the acolytes right now. Those knights, they don't do arc burn, so you don't have to worry about them. Just be focused on the acolytes. As you see, they will try to push up on you, but no ads will push past this little staircase that I'm on right now. It's not really a staircase. It's like two steps. But no ads will push past that point. So that's why we're going to try to take everything out from super duper deep. So we took out the initial wave. So here comes the next wave. It's going to be Acolytes and Scions. A gazillion Scions. Now these things can get out of control. So if you want to float some rockets, float some rockets. Once these things start splitting, there's going to be quite a few of them. But keep your distance. Spam your nades. Spam your primary. Sniper heavy, whatever it may be. But you see, guys, I'm all the way back out in the previous room, and we're taking everything out from super duper deep. You do not want to push up into this room. Now, you could push up with your super a little bit, blade dancers, titans, warlocks. You could do a little super when those science first initially spawn, but you do not want to be in that room if you're not in your super because you can get wrecked very, very quickly. As you see, there is a gazillion scions, and they just keep splitting, and they can be very annoying. So spam those nades, spam those rockets. Airborne is on, so make sure to be jumping around. You know, when your rocket's about to impact, your grenade's about to hit, get in the air so you can do some extra damage. I'm going to do a slight fast forward here, guys. You're not missing anything. Just clearing out the ads. Now, for this next wave, you're going to have a major wizard. You want to take her out first because she is going to be spawning Shadow Thrall. And the Shadow Thrall, they're not dangerous, but those are the only ads that will push up on you, they will even come out to the other room. So you see right there, there is the Tortured Wizard, and she's gonna spawn with a bunch of Acolytes as well, so we wanna take her out. Coolio, we got her, now we don't have to be worrying about those stupid Shadow Thrall rolling up on us when we're focused on taking out the other enemies. So with the Wizard, there's the little Shadow Thrall right there. You're gonna have Acolytes, you're gonna have some major Acolytes, and you're also gonna have some Cabal. Again, guys, take everything out from super duper deep. Be careful about the Acolyte Eyes. Those are super dangerous because, you know, it can just freaking spam that shot. I'm going to fast forward again here, guys. You're not missing anything. Just taking out ads from deep. I'm spamming grenades. Those Acolytes, the major ones, they won't push up on you. They will stay in the back area. Once you clear out the rest of this wave, then you will have your final wave, which is going to be a major night. Take him out with your super, guys, really quick, really easy. Once you take him out... These doors will open, immediately run past this. Do not waste any of your time killing this wizard or anything like that. Just bail, complete waste of time. This is where you wanna switch. So Blade Dancer, stay on Blade Dancer. You can just go invis and run past this. Warlocks, I'm gonna to switch to Self Res. Titans, switch to a Blessings of Light Bubble. That way we can run through this next area and save you a ton of time. So once you get to this next area, now we're going to have a door on our left, a door on our right. Now just see which door opens, and that's going to be our running lane. 
Left door is open. You see that wizard in the way, way back there? You're going to have her. You're going to have some phalanx. You want to clear the path. Clear that running lane out. Now, you don't have to really worry about the wizard because she doesn't do arc damage, but you want to take out those phalanx. You want to take out that acolyte, which you saw me take out right there. Just clear this running lane before making your run. Also, make sure that you have your super. It's only going to take a few seconds to charge with the daybreak modifier on. Okay, cool. We got all the phalanx down. Now I'm going to move up a little bit and I want to clear out these acolytes as these can be dangerous. You see the acolyte eye and all those acolytes? You don't want them shooting at you when you're making your run because them and the shriekers, you're going to get yourself killed a little bit quicker than you want to. Again, don't worry about taking out that wizard. I was going to try and take her out, but then I was just like, screw it. So blade dancers, just use your super to go and viz and run past all this crap. Blade Dancers, you don't even have to kill any of the enemies. Just go in, Fizz. So Warlocks and Titans make the run. Now, Warlocks, I'm going to have an Acolyte over here. I'm going to use my Flame Shield just to try to survive a little bit longer. But you don't have to do that. Warlocks, once you die, pop res. Titans, pop your bubble about right there. Then use Blessings to make the rest of the run. Again, that wizard right there does not do arc damage. You're not going to have to worry about it. So Titans, make it as far as you can. Once you think you're about to die, pop that Blessings a Light Bubble. Use your Blessings to run on by. Hunters, you're using Invis. And then Warlocks, as you saw, just get as far as you can. Once you die, res. Now switch back to those arc supers. You can run on by this next part with all these Thrall. I like to kill them, though, just in case they do drop some heavy ammo. Before hopping down, make sure to hang out a sec because a box will spawn up here. So if you're low on special ammo or you're low on heavy, sometimes it is a heavy box. Majority of the time, though, it is special. So here we go. We are now on to the boss fight. Just hop on down to the pit. Once I hop down, I always take out this little explosive box tube, whatever the hell it's called, to our right. Now we're getting ready. This boss fight is very, very easy. You want to keep on the move the majority of the time. None of the enemies are shooting at you in here, so don't worry about that. It's just Thrall and Curse Thrall. So here comes Ala. Cool. Throw a nade if you can't see him. I'll light him on up and then snipe away. Also use those rockets. Remember, Airborne is on, so make sure to be jumping when those rockets are about to impact. So here comes the first wave, and the first wave of enemies is just going to be Thrall. You're not going to have any Curse Thrall to worry about. So this is the first wave. It's just Thrall. And then I'm going to use my super on Allo. Cool. And you're going to be absolutely chunking his health with an Arc Sniper, Arc Nades, Arc Rocket Launcher, and a Arc Heavy. As you see, we're already on to the second wave just from my super. Now with the second wave, you're going to have Cursed Thrall. All you need to do, guys, don't shoot them. Don't waste any of your ammo. Just run at them and jump over them. Doing so, they will explode on their own, and a lot of times they will take out the regular Thrall. Again, run at them and jump over them. Do not waste any of your ammo. You want to keep on the move in this strike. You do not want to be standing still because a lot of times the boss will spawn right on top of you, and his attack does a ton of damage and can get you killed very, very quickly. So here we go. We took out the second wave, and as you saw, I didn't use my gun at all. All I used was the Cursed Thrall explosions, and their explosions took out all the regular Thrall as well. I'm just going to use my grenade here to try to locate Ala Cool. There he is right there, and now we can get some sniper shots on him. Hopefully I don't choke too many of them. <laughs> this is some really ugly aiming, but somehow I'm actually hitting him in the head. So there he goes. He's teleporting, and now we have the third wave coming in. Again, it's going to be Thrall, and it's going to be Cursed Thrall. Again, get your Usain Bolt on, start sprinting, run at those Cursed Thrall, jump over them. They will explode taking out the other Thrall. You can spam grenades as well, which I am doing, but you do not want to keep still. This boss will spawn on you. Goal is to keep on the move, keep on the move, keep on the move. Once you take out the adds, then we will go back to focusing on doing damage on Alak Cool. Adds first, then we'll go to Alak Cool. So Coolio, we got all the adds down. And he just teleported. So with Alakul, if you're unfamiliar or you haven't seen any of my past walkthroughs of the Alakul strike, what you want to do when he teleports is you want to run to his teleport, then flip a 180. He will spawn where you just were. You'll see better examples of that once he goes to his uh, charge phase and his like brains exposed. So here we go. We're just doing more damage. And as you see, guys, this is a very quick boss fight with Arc Burn on. He should be transitioning to his little brain phase. Here we go. Now, once he's in charge mode, guys, he's going to be sprinting after you. He's going to be right behind you. So you want to keep on the move. I know I've said that 100 times in this video, but keep on the move. So we have to take out this next wave of ads. Again, it's just going to be Thrall and Curse Thrall. Run at the Curse Thrall. Hop on over him. 
chuck a nade or two as you see i'm chucking a nade but keep on the move once we take out all these enemies then we are going to wait and we're going to listen once you hear a la cool teleport then you got to run to his spot which you'll see here in a second so we just want to take out all the ads almost down there's the last curse thrall right there okay so there's a cool and the curse thrall now i'm just going to be sprinting and listening listening for him to teleport so i'm just running 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 Where's he at? He's teleporting. Now run to where he was. Once you get to his spot, turn around and flip a 180 and he will teleport back in where you just were. And there he is right there. Hopefully you don't choke sniper shots like myself. Get off a couple shots. You see that was one hit. It does a ton of damage and I'm at 400 light. So if you are under light, be very, very careful. Do a shot or two, bail. Do a rocket or two, bail. There he is. He's teleporting again. Run to where he teleported from, flip a 180, he will come back in where you just were. There he is right there. That way you're going to get plenty of space. You're going to know exactly where he's coming in at. It'll allow you to get more sniper shots than you would, a rocket or two, some grenades. And after you do some damage, guys, get your run on, get your run on, then be aware of when he's teleporting again. It's very, very easy. You control this boss fight. He's just teleporting again, run to his spot. Flip a 180, he will come back in where you just were. You control his teleports. By doing this, you know exactly where he is. And he's an absolute sliv. He's almost dead. Hopefully, I don't kill myself <laughs> before he dies. Let's foot a rocket. And there we go. We've done it. You've done it. Really easy solo this week, guys. You just got to be careful with some of the arc enemies. But overall, very, very easy. Hopefully, this video was helpful. And hopefully, it helps you get it done this week. I'm excited for the Destiny 2 beta. I'm sure some of you guys are as well. Let's see what reward we got. Yep. Okay. Have a good one, guys. See ya.